Good morning, day, evening, night. Anyway, good whatever time you're watching this. Uh, we're back in Blue Water Village this time with the Blue Water Real Estate Office. Um, I had no idea how a functional real estate office would be run in The Sims 2, so I asked, and a lot of people helped me out, so I know, so I knew how to, you know, make a functional building, functional real estate office. But that's all in the second video. The first video is going to be me fiddling with a roof, not on a roof, but with a roof. Because my god, this floor plan is so weird, and you know, to build a functional roof plan, a uh, roof is just it was very tricky. But what I came up with eventually, I'm very happy with. So it's coming up soon. Right now, I'm just uh, oh, here we go. The roof. It's gonna take a couple of minutes for me to find something. I was just uh, should I put a roof here? No, that doesn't match well, merge well. And you know, you got those uh, diagonal walls, so those throw off your entire roofing as well. And I was like, you know what, I'm going kind of in the same vein as the bakery, use this uh, brick um, fence thing, still don't know the right word, to make, you know, to take care of the diagonal walls for me. And But I still will need a roof. So, yeah. A plan is forming here. As you can see, I'm still turning and spinning, and I'm like, oh, I use some dormers now. Nah, doesn't look quite right. A roof like that, and I was like, oh, no, this this might look okay. It's a little weird, but we're getting there slowly. Yeah, this is what I went for temporarily, I think. Yeah, look, little, some little trouble with that little, uh, the little part sticking out because the roofs, you know, they, you get that little thing bleeding through the walls and it's just annoying. So, yeah, this this video is gonna be relatively short, as you can see. It's a small lot, and I fixed it relatively fast, so not very exciting. Um, I'm doing this the day after I did the live stream for Seven Carriage Lane. A lot of people showed up. I was very happy. I had some trouble with the roof there as well. I'm just, uh, it's just a difficult part. <laughs> anyway, still at the roof. Three minutes in, still roofing around. Yeah, I temporarily settled through this, but. I can spoil for you, I changed it halfway through, <laughs> so don't get too used to it. Anyway, yeah, like you see uh, here, I'm uh, I'm thinking about doing Blue Water Village with a lot of brickwork and some of this wood paneling in lighter colors, colors to kind of get a fresh, sort of clean palette going on. So I have this collection folder with several colors of wood paneling I would like to use throughout the neighborhood. Uh, again here, picking out some roof colors because that's very important. You know, and here I am going like, nah, I still don't like it. Maybe like this? Nah, that's too, too monotonous. And then finally I was like, you know what, why don't I just do this part as wood? And yeah, this is what I eventually settled for. Sort of um, an extension. You know, which looks very nice, in my opinion. Now, as for the uh, walls and uh, the windows and doors, I decided to go back to the black and white scheme from the bakery because I'm really liking that. So I might continue that throughout several other um, community lots. Cause it looks so, yeah, I don't know, it looks very nice. <laughs> it reminds me of a lot of Dutch houses, so, which is also cool. So yeah, basically I found out all you need to run a, a real estate business is, you know, the cash register, maybe computer to buy new 
real estate so you can sell it and apparently you have you can put the deed on the table or on the wall so it's it sounds very uh, very simple although you probably need a lot of money at first to start you know start this business yeah sounds like a, a good way to get rich <laughs> Read somewhere that people find restaurants the most difficult to to run. Again, I don't know because I never ran uh, ran any business because I didn't have that expansion pack when I was still playing, so I have no clue. But yeah, that's very interesting to read that some of the businesses are so much easier than others. Again, back to the slot. I decided to go for a very clean net pattern. So yeah, again. I don't know what I was talking about. I wasn't interrupted. Sorry. Uh, yeah, back to this. Uh, back to the lot. It's very simple, as you can see. Very clean. Soon be moving on to the garden. First, I have to do the bathroom. Again, most like. Do you need an employee for a real estate office? I don't think so. Although it's not. Yeah. Nah, you just need to manage the cash register yourself, which is... Yeah, this doesn't... A real estate doesn't sound like a very interesting business to run, if I have to be honest. It doesn't sound very fun. And it would... To me, it sounds like it's a lot easier to run from home. Not a community lot, but, you know... Maybe, maybe people really like running real estate offices. I don't know. I have no experience. Anyway, to the garden. You know, some nice hedges. Very simple, but they give a nice green, you know, hedge. I really like the, um, the idea from the original lot. They have this, like, little sort of back garden patio with a, there, you know, they can just sit out in the sun or the shade. Whatever time it is, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna gonna run with that idea myself. Then I uh, decided. <laughs> then I spent like uh, a while picking out the perfect fence. That uh, the bricks that I used for the flooring here are the same ones I used for the bakery from the uh, for like the uh, outside area so I'm thinking about using those again throughout through some other community lots create a nice cohesion in Blue Water Village you know so yeah this is not the fence I finally settled for as you will see So I didn't like, um, you know, you have the hedge here as a fence and then you have that big hedge. It, it just didn't mesh well in my uh, opinion. So I was like, you know what, I'm just, I'll use the one I always use. <laughs> this uh, it's a type of fence. Where did I go for this one? I don't remember now. Oh no, it's very exciting for myself right now. Yeah, I used the other one apparently. So yeah, just putting down some trees. I really like these small trees. I haven't used them very often, but I noticed that a lot of lots in open in the Blue Water Village have these trees. Like, you know what? That's used them as well. And we're gonna do some little planting for the little backyard. Finally decided on a little bit more... Uh, yeah, I decided to use these uh, plants that are sadly in the, in the decorative category. That's why I forget about them all the time. But, you know, I suddenly remembered I had these ones and they were very pretty. So I was like, you know what? Let's use those. I think there seems four conversions, so but yeah, they look very pretty. Especially these yellow ones. The other ones are have kind of odd colored leafage and these are just nice and green, so and the flowers are a nice light yellow, so not too eye blindingly colorful if that makes sense. Yeah, the rest of the plants I decided to go very sort of peaceful green. So of course, those uh, mid biscuits recolors I always use have to go in, and uh, yeah, I also decided to go for some bamboo. I think Cause this. Right, I went for bamboo, right? 
Yeah, there it is. There it is. Bamboo. Well, that just gives a little bit more close textured. They got a simple backyard, you know. Because it's it's a business, you know. They don't have to have uh, very complicated fake ponds and uh, <laughs> stuff like that. It's just for. Uh, place for the employees uh, to chill or maybe you know if it's nice weather you can take your client out outside and have them look through the folders there I don't know I'm saying this like you know that sort of stuff happens in the game but that's not true yeah I decided to pick some nice easy uh, bushes out front not to uh, complicate it as you can see here, some of the colors of those flowers are a little bit wild. Too wild for me. <laughs> Too wild for this lot, let's put it like that. Anyway, slowly but surely nearing the end. Let's find a look through. You know, stuff these somewhere. I always kind of put them somewhere I don't <laughs> out of sight. But here they fit in just right. Anyway. That was it for the exterior part. Next part will be the interior and see you next time. Bye.